know what I'm saying? But um, I started like entering different shows, man. And like, I want to say the age is 17, 18. That's when I was discovered by this lady named Linda Townsend. And she said, I want to represent you as an actor. Mm-hmm. And I was like, well, I ain't never acted before. You know what I'm saying? She said, okay, well, we can tell that you're not stage fright. Like you getting up on stage and performing and remembering rhymes and different things of that nature. We we just see that you probably can, you know, you probably can remember a script. Mm-hmm. So, um, man, make a long story short, in 2001, The Wire was my first audition ever, first job I ever booked as an actor. Wow. <laughs> first job. So you were spoiled from then on. Every yeah. other audition you went on and didn't get you, like, man, damn. Man, let me tell you and something, And you made man. it to the, through the wire, like, to the end. Let me tell you something. I'm I'm the last man standing on the wire. I didn't mm-hmm. get killed. I got locked up in the show. I want to say that was around, like, second season or whatever. But um, You got out, not like a Weebay. Yeah, that's the homie right there. Shout out to Hassan, <laughs> man. I, um, it's funny, though, because with the wire, you know, I was only supposed to do the pilot. I was only supposed to have a couple of lines in the pilot. And, uh, you know, later on, man, they just kept on, you know, writing me in. And I became like this big recurring character on there, you know, playing the role of Malik Pukar. And then from there, everything was, you know, just popping. Like I said, that was my first experience. I ain't had no agent, no manager or anything like that. But one thing, when The Wire ended in 2008, that was like a, a crazy time for me because like you said, man, after The Wire ended, it was like, okay, I'm gonna move to LA. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be this big star. It's gonna be on now. And it ain't happened you know, that quick for me. So it was just like, I had a choice in 2008 when it ended. You chewing gum? Yeah, Yeah. you just gonna let him chew gum like that, ye? Oh, shoot. Okay, you know what? He wasn't chewing that hard, but yeah, we gonna need to Now now, now I'm chewing too hard. How long did it take you to uh, (laughs) bounce back on your feet after the wire? Man, after, man, after the (laughs) wire, after the wire, man, I, um, it got crazy, man. Like I said, when it ended in 2008, I did another film, uh, shout out to Meek Mill, I did this film called Streets. Mm-hmm. It, um, I remember that. Hit BET a couple times. That's and, when uh, Meek had the braids. Yeah, that's <laughs> when Meek had the braids. And from that point, it was just a matter of me auditioning. And you know what I'm saying? I wasn't getting a lot of roles, so I started creating like my own content. I'm like, well, look, I'm going to leverage who I played on this HBO series because a lot of people around the world know who I am mm-hmm. from this series, so I'm going to leverage that. So what I did was I wrote a book, this book called The Truth You Can't Betray, put it out, man, got started getting like school tours to go around and speak to young people. Um, Then I said, man, let me get right back into the music. I started recording music, shooting my own videos, uh, networks like BET, MTV, Revolt, was, you know, picking my stuff up. And that kind of like, you know, sparked like an interest with my man, George Pierre, the casting director over there, um, who casted for uh, Saint, who's casting for Saints and Sinners.